Hey guys, my name is Yasmina and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I wanted to talk to you guys about the best self-editing tools slash software that I personally use and I think you guys should try out as well. So if you like this kind of content, do make sure to click that subscribe button and let's get straight into it. So self-editing should be something that you do on your own after you have finished a draft of your books. This should not be a replacement for a professional edit, but definitely helps you along the way. And it also teaches you, I think, a lot about your own writing and about how to improve your writing in the future. So here are three pieces of software that I personally use all the time to self-edit my books. And I have actually made two videos going through all of these tools, going through editing an actual chapter of my book, which I will insert clips of in this video, but I will also link both of those videos down in the description and in a pinned comment if you guys are interested to actually see these tools in action and how I use them to edit a random chapter of my book. But so the first tool I have to talk about is Hemingway Editor. And this is the only completely free one in this list, unfortunately. But I think it is a really nice sort of first initial step into editing a piece of writing. I find that it shows like the big issues of the piece of writing that you paste in all the adverbs that it finds and it you know, shows you how many adverbs do you have and how to reduce the number of adverbs. It also shows you where you use passive voice and also tells you to reduce the number of usages of passive voice. And it also really focuses on the readability of your sentences. So it points out what sentences are hard to read and then what sentences are very hard to read. So it really tells you to sort of shorten your sentences or break them into different sentences just to make it easier to read. And I think it also gives you a score of sort of grade level of how easy or hard your writing is to read. As always, you should really just focus on making it easy to read, as easy to read as possible. So let's see. So there's 35 adverbs and it says to meet the goal of 37 or fewer, which I guess that is a good thing, but we can always lower that number. There are eight uses of passive voice meeting the goal of 51 or fewer. So that is fine. Five phrases have simpler alternatives. Okay, we can look at those. 10 of 254 sentences are hard to read. We can also look at those. And three of 254 sentences are very hard to read. So definitely need to look at those. It of course also does some basic grammar checks and provides alternatives for all these things, but it really doesn't go much deeper than that. So I use it as a first step into editing something that I've written just to catch the big things. But as I said, it's very nice that it is completely free and you can just paste in however many lines you have to edit and then do the editing inside the web editor. Now there is also a downloadable version of it. However, personally, I have not tried that, so I'm not sure how that is different. I have only ever used the web version. The next software I want to talk to you guys about is of course Grammarly. Now I'm sure if I've heard of the software because it is advertised everywhere, but it is for a very good reason. I do think it's quite good. However, this unfortunately is mostly a paid app. You can try it for free, but the free version is extremely limited. So I'm going to show you what you can do with the free version because that's all I have personally tried myself because honestly, I think it's quite expensive. I think it is about $30 a month to purchase the premium version. Personally, I think that's too pricey. So what I think Grammarly is particularly good at is spotting incorrect usages of commas. This is something I personally like struggle with. I always put commas where I don't need commas and don't put commas where I should have put a comma. And Grammarly is very good at spotting this. And as usual, I am missing a comma there and I don't need a comma there. So if you want your grammar checked, then I think try putting it through Grammarly because I think this does a much better job than especially Hemingway editor at pointing out your grammar mistakes. Also general spell check. If you've used a word incorrectly, if you use two words when you could actually combine the word or the correct word is the two words combined. This is something I've done. I'll insert a clip right here where it pointed out to me that I was using two separate words, but the correct way to spell that word is put, put the two words together. <laughs> Hard to rate should be two words and not one word. And the opposite here, people, should be one word instead of 
stewards. The last self-editing tool that I will recommend you guys. And honestly, my personal favorite is Pro Writing Aid. Now I've talked about this software in quite a few of my videos. It is my favorite self-editing tool and it is the one I would recommend the most. However, once again, it is not completely free, but you can go around this and I'll tell you how. They do have a free version on their website, so their web editor. However, it is limited. It does the basic features, the basic spell check and mistakes for any length of writing, but the really good stuff, like the really good checks, it only does for the first 500 words. So what I usually do is paste 500 words at a time and then I can use its full capabilities for free. But of course, that's quite a time sink and everything, but it is possible. The other really cool thing about it is that you can also purchase it as an add-on to Scrivener, to Word, to Google Docs, I think to just any writing software that you might already have. And then you can do all of the editing inside your actual document without having to copy and paste it into a separate editor, which I think is awesome. So my favorite thing about ProWriting 8 is all of the stats. It gives you so many stats. It basically does a full overview of your piece of writing that you've pasted in. And it just gives you so much really cool stats. I'll show you some of them right here. My grammar score is 77 and of course, it needs to be increased to 100%. The style score is 83%. The spelling score is 83%. Also should be 100%. Then it gives you the stats on where the piece looks great. There is a bunch of stats. I'm not going to go through everything right now because I just want to go back into actually editing the chapter, but I just wanted to show you that you can go through all of these stats. And what's cool about it is that you can Take a screenshot of what it looks like now and then compare to after you've edited based on their suggestions. It's kind of using a bit of gamification kind of to push you to improve all of these points and to just, you know, improve your writing in general. And I think, I think uh, it succeeds. <laughs> I also find for writing it especially good for spotting repetition and echoes. And again, I'll insert some clips here of other things that I think are really cool that for writing aid does. Okay, and then an overused tab, it's telling me that I've overused the word lot, sounds about right. I do use that word a lot, and here I've used it quite close. Okay, and under all repeats, we can see more things here. I failed this. That is intentional, so we can... I, that is interesting. That's not something I intended. Where is that? I do have the word lasagna four times. Lasagna, lasagna, the lasagna, lasagna. Okay, so under echoes, this is sharing me all the close repeats. So for example, us, I have I failed us and then lend us as magic hats. So instead of saying I failed us, I can say I failed the party. Under transition, it's showing me all of the transitional words, so like when and... So I can already see, for example, I rolled a 7 when we needed at least a 9. So I can technically remove this and it should still make sense. So once again, personally, I would recommend for writing it if you're going to purchase any of these pieces of software i would recommend for writing it but as i mentioned you can kind of hack the system a little bit and use it for free which is what i do a lot of the time but it's there so i'm gonna use it so yeah essentially i use all three of these software to edit parts of my books that I feel need more editing. I go through all of them in different stages and find different mistakes because I feel like they're all very leveled. I feel like Hemingway editor is the very first thing, the very basic thing. Then Grammarly does a little more actual grammar checks and then Pro Writing A does literally everything else. Like everything you could think of and way more that you could probably ever think was wrong with your writing, it points it out. However, of course, you should never just accept every single change that these tools suggest because a lot of the time they're not as smart. Um, a lot of the time they won't understand the context of your sentence. So definitely make sure to go through every single suggestion and figure out if, okay, if it's actually right or if it's wrong and you can just ignore it. They are suggestions. You don't have to change every single thing unless of course an actual grammar or spelling mistake, which of course you should change. Unless it is intentional, of course, unless, you know, your character speaks in a broken English or with an accent or something like that. And of course, stylistic choices are always 
fine. But uh, for the most part, you should fix all the grammar and spelling mistakes. That was honestly it. I know this was a little bit of a shorter video, but I just wanted to quickly go through every single editing tool that I use and tell you a little more about it. But again, if you want to see how I've used these in real time editing a piece of writing, then I will link both of those videos here and in the description and anywhere else I can think of. Let me know if you've used any of these tools before and what you think of them. Um, if you've purchased any of them, do you think it's worth it? Or if you use anything else to self edit, do also let me know that down in the comment section below. And otherwise, that's it. Check out some of my other writing related videos and I hope you have a great day. I'll see you next time in a new video. Bye.